At the end of the day, I think the irony is that the, the answer is, in, is within the question itself. So if, first of all, what we are seeking and we have regulated and we are regulating DLT, so it's a distributed ledger technology. Many people like to think that we're regulating cryptocurrency. We're not. We're regulating the technology that can be used for various uh, things and various sectors, including cryptocurrency. But we are regulating the technology. If there is a concern on money laundering, actually DLT is an answer to that concern. Because if you put information on a platform that cannot be tempered with, that's a way in which to ascertain that uh, dirty money does not become clean money. Because that's essentially the, the, uh, the, the, the nature of money laundering. And in itself, a system such as blockchain enables you not to tamper with a system and to circumvent it, um, all this in a, in a way um, where, whereby the traditional systems of AML are, are very vulnerable. So I, I, I think that the solution is, is actually in the challenge itself. I believe that the next European Commission will seek to be uh, very bold on innovation, very bold when it comes to DLT. I'm very encouraged by the, uh, the sounds that are being made by, by the Commission uh, right now on this. And uh, my aspiration is that it's not that Malta will remain on its own. I actually would love all member states to have such legislation. My aspiration is that any EU framework legislation would be um, in the same direction as uh, Malta's legislation. And that's also the reason why, even though this is strictly right now national competence, over the past year or so, we have engaged very closely with the European Commission to make sure they knew exactly what we were doing. Um, they ask the questions, we, we give our answers, we ask for their advice, because we know that if it's not this year, it's next year. If not next year, it's in the next two years. Europe will have to come up with its own legislation. And when it comes, uh, we want uh, we want this to be part of our experience. And um, I think this is a very positive way to look at things.